Good morning. So we left Francis Perron this morning and we're on our way to Carvanon. I'm probably saying it wrong because my brother says it about a million different ways. It confuses me. But we've stopped here at Shell Beach. Oh gosh, it's very pretty. There's grass growing in the sand. Morning. 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 Oh, now there's the turquoise water we were looking for yesterday. Look how different it looks when the sun comes out. I've never known a wavy beach like this where you walk up and down the mound. Oh well, good workout. And this is Shell Beach. Look, the beach is actually made of tiny little shells. Oh well. Oh gosh, I can't believe how blue the water is. Beautiful. So the sea is so salty here that only these little cockles can live here and it's their shells that get washed up onto the beach. Um, I wish I got my swimming stuff now because you can swim in here and um, of course it's very salty so I probably float a lot better. It's very clear and obviously there's nothing else to see in there so no point snorkeling but it's so clear. See for miles. Oh, Shell Beach was pretty, wasn't it? Now, I've been, I did a couple of hours driving and I've handed over to my brother because I tell you what, these long, straight roads, they make your eyes go googly after a bit. They're just like this. Australia is massive, I know, I know. Um, I have to say, I prefer driving off road. It's just much more fun than just driving these straight roads. But anyway, we're on our way to Carnarvon. And our first stop is going to be the Space and Technology Museum. And then we're hopefully going to find the Cactus Garden and then have a look around town. Um, we should be getting to the space station about just after midday. So we did leave quite early today so that we could uh, get more done. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when we find the space station. The maps don't work because we can't get any signal to, uh, <laughs> to follow the maps on our phone. Good job I printed them all off before we left, but uh, every now and again you get one bar and the maps pop up again. There's no actual sat-nav in the car, which is a little strange nowadays, I know, but there you go. I will uh, catch up with you shortly. I know, I've got no makeup on today either. No, I can't be bothered with it. The skin's so dry from the wind. So uh, as so we're coming into Carnarvon, up ahead, we can see the space dish. And we're making our way to the Space Museum. Wow, boy, look at all this. Proceed to the route. This is open from 10 to 2. Oh, God, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what time it's supposed to be. But we're open to this one. 
So uh, the space museum, uh, the space museum, space and technological museum is open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So uh, right. Mm. Or just go behind that truck over there. Oh, go here. Oh, there's one on the end. Oh no, that's the exit. Yeah, we'll find that should get dying. We can eat have some wheat as well. Here's that side there. Yes. I'm quite excited for this. Yeah, me too. Oh god, I'm actually excited about something. So here we are, we've arrived at the Carnarvon. Space and Technology Museum. You can see the old disc from NASA. Let's get inside. Constant radio chatter coming from our own planet, as well as by the ionosphere on the Earth's surface. Earth's radio <coughs> signals spread out through space, but are blocked by the moon's rocky body. Too much. This happened. Yeah. This is the trackers room and they've got a nice presentation going on. Some old equipment. And all their heart and everything else was graft. And these were all bought out. And the doctors had templates. And as they're going over, it's only eight minutes. That's well photos of the trackers. Look at that. With the space. And immediately they did this. The machines all start up to be painted. Moon day. And then all these photos and equipment and old heads that. And all these photos of people that worked here at the tracking station. And of course the only communication. She's got loads of memorabilia in here. And of course the stories were known at the time that broke down. And a woman oh, sat there that's a and pretty cool. And working out a plug-in switchboard. Uh, yeah, I've got all of these. Hello, mister. It's the Apollo capsule. We have to wait our turn. Wait for our buzzer. Those system monitors. Oh my god, you can touch these. So what's this? Showing how people are watching it first on telly? I might be able to download my YouTube videos quicker on this. You might be right. Gosh, look at all this. Fascinating. Look at the, the past, the 
present and the future. Loads of information in here. Yeah, when this It's scary thought if I was controlling the space shuttle, really, wouldn't it? flown before so we're going to call it a wrap and suggest you try again well i hope you've enjoyed learning to land the space shuttle thanks for joining me please get up and give someone else a chance to fly now we called you while you're doing it long range tracking cameras at the kennedy space center picking up the first in whoop choose your skill novice welcome aboard i'm roger and i'll be as with the uh <laughs> okay, well, you've flown where no man has flown before, so we're going to call it a wrap and suggest you try again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed hearing the Thanks for joining me. Please get up and give someone else a chance to fly. Just watch the extra. Long range tracking cameras at the Kennedy Space Center. Move the stick forward to step through the skill levels. Just move take one. Move the stick forward. Just welcome aboard. I'm Roger, and I'll be your instructor. Oh, what was it? Oh, what was it? What was it's time for us to go on an Apollo mission! Discovery Houston, show you on center line, slightly high. Suggest you ease the fifth bar. What is she doing up there? Okay, come on, I'm in the air. Go with the place. Discovery Houston, show you a little high. Need to get the nose down ASAP. Ooh, we're late. <laughs> 2,200. 
<laughs> you have to come back. Uh, Here we go, I've nailed this. 1,000, 20, 1,000, 15, 400, 200, 300, 205, come on, yeah, 200, 200, 100, 191, okay, everybody, brace yourself, 30, 185. Broke it. Okay, it looks like you had a little trouble with that approach, so we're going to give you another shot, starting at the Simulation capsule. <laughs> See what this is all about. <laughs> what are you, spaceman? <laughs> yes, I'm a doctor who finished. <laughs> right, here we are in our capsule. All right. You're about to take off. So wait. Oh, it's not comfy, is it? <laughs> okay, it's kept more comfy than the van. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you must look about my head. Oh, all right. Hang on. That was fun. That was um, a simulation yeah, of what it was like for the astronauts when they spent three days going to the moon and three days coming back. Well, I had to find where Blue's going to. Where Oh gosh, we'll all remember these. Space Invaders. What's this one? <coughs> Apollo Lunar Model. It was like a camper tent. <laughs> With the ladder, it was like a camper tent. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> They've made the uh... Go on, in you get blue. Go on. Adult supervision. Well, I'll supervise you. In you get. That's quite cool, isn't it? Little thing for the kids and the spide. And the, do you know they give you free tea and coffee here? You just help yourself. Anyhow. So we're going to go and grab uh, our cup of tea and coffee. Complimentary. Uh, I think we've seen everything now. It's really good here actually. Um, 
Yeah, really good fun. Yeah, big stones in there. Look at that. Huge. And we'll catch up with you at our next stop. So we're on what they call the Fruit Loop Trail. So you can stop off here and get fruit and vegetables. I think there's a few, supposed to be a few, but there's one there. Um, but we are heading for the cactus farm. Which is somewhere Further up the road, yeah. No one near it yet. Oh, how many cakes? Another five. Oh, wow. So here we are at the cactus house. <laughs> Look at all these big cactus. <laughs> Look at the size of the, is it just through there? What's that? The... Oh wow, look at all these cacti. Like a mini little cat. <laughs> There's a little dinosaur on that one. <laughs> Ooh, spider whip on that one. Oh, this is <laughs> cool. Some old bones, well bones, I guess. Oh, I love it. I've left him in the car. He has no interest in the cat's eye. Oh, it's definitely worth a stop by. It's just super cool. Look at this old digger. And then over the road, they've got another camel thing and train. And look, there's an old water park, water station. Oh gosh, I think this is cool. He says, he says, oh, I'll go work the car. I want to take pictures of all this. Look at him, taking pictures of them all. So he is really interested. He's interested in history. Oh, look at this. Big old anchor from the Korean star. Oh, what is this? This is fascinating, what is it? It says, could this be a pile driving hammer from the turn of the century? We're looking for someone to swing it. Oh, flipping neck, I don't think they are really. Wow. And then down here, gosh, I've got all sorts of old machinery. And down here, they've got all sorts of machinery. Look at these. And look at the, I guess the old oil or water tank at the back. Wow, look down here. I love this little truck. An old towing truck. <laughs> wow. 
How cute is that? Oh, hello, crow. <laughs> Bob my head. <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed in here. But look at these old trains. And then they've got a bit of a modern one here. I guess they've done it up. And the old wheels, old train track. Oh, so cool. They got this old rail crossing with the old tracks. And this is where that old train is still on the tracks. On the wall. Okay, we've arrived into Carvernon Town and uh, just having a little drive around. As usual, I'm on the wrong side to see the sea. Yeah, so I do you at the top <laughs> and come back this way to Woolies. So. But it's a bit here, there's a drive through alcohol. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto oh, Robinson Street, then up. arrive at your destination. We don't need that one until we uh... Why would it we, we, I can't say it's not down here? What have you put in there? I just put town. Oh wow, oh, okay. Oh old post office. Oh there's some like cute little old buildings. Quite pleasant round here. Got your pubs. We are open and empty. Oh, well, that's a nice garden, isn't it? And all the hanging baskets. Right, just stop me, I need to change it. Yeah? Yeah. There you go, now you get your best side. Right, so now we're doing a drive through of Carvanon along the seafront. Carnavon. Carnavon. Oh, Carnavon. So it's, uh, it's got like little beach areas, but... It's not really a beach, is it? No, there is on the other side. It's more like a boat thing. I think down here there is um, uh, HM, let's uh, say, uh, Sydney Museum. She's got quite a few museums here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We're in this very pleasant coastal town. Blue lights, Denham Moor. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. not. We don't know if that was because it was sunshine in there. It could have been because it did look all very bright and shiny. But that's like the seafront. Um, saw a few shops as we were coming in. They've obviously got an IGA just on the main we've road the coming Woolies, in. Aren't we? Yeah, and they've got a Woolies just round the corner, Woolworths, if you don't know what Woolies is. Um, a few like little shops scattered about. Oh, is that the memorial? Is that it? What are you looking at? Mm, no. Oh yeah, probably. Oh yeah, so there you go, there's the memorial. Some beautiful palm trees. Oh, there's a jetty. There's a bit of a beach handle. There's a blooming jetty there. Maybe that's a new one mile one. Yeah, it's not a one mile one, it just goes over that sandy yeah. plain thing. It's for these rich people here, wouldn't it? God, oh, imagine having one of these houses. Yeah. Well, that's a nice location, yeah, isn't it? Pull your boat up to the oh, front. There's woolies. Just round that roundabout. Keep going, yeah? Yeah, it's just, the, I'm sure it's the other side of that. Keep left. Oh, 
Yeah, that's sense. fair, isn't Keep it? Oh. Yeah, somewhat, yeah. Every time I see Keep Left, it makes me think that you're not allowed to turn. Maybe we're not allowed to turn. Well, no, that's it. So we're just going to stop now at Woolworths and do some shopping. So we can't believe we've been here a week already. So we're going to uh, stop. We, how, are we up. Gonna, how are we going to do this? Are we just going to park here? Well, I don't know. Let's do this. Oh, it's been a long day. But it's been a good day, actually. I've seen quite a bit. And, uh, oh, I love the quirkiness of the cactus garden. And it's just someone's house. How amazing is that? And um, even though the jetty was destroyed, it looked like it had been destroyed for a long time, it was really cool to see all those old industrial... Um, industrial machines and the trains and they were still on the old train track so I like that kind of quirky I like that stuff uh, and the Space Museum, Museum was really really good so we got our shopping went to Woolworths got our shopping filled the fridge up because we're not sure when we're next going to get to a supermarket uh, might not be till we're in Broome and uh, we are now in a campsite called Norwester. So it's like a commercial campsite. I mean, not my favorite, but it's not a lot of choice in Cardamom. And so it is what it is. I'm going to have a shower soon. Because I feel very dusty. I think it might be from being in France's Peron. And um, red sand is absolutely everywhere. I don't know if we're ever going to get rid of it. It's just everywhere <laughs> but you just got to learn to live with it so tomorrow we'll be getting up early and we'll be going to Ningaloo and I'm very excited about that because I finally get to snorkel properly <clears throat> so I'm very much looking forward to that now the only problem is the road is closed going in so we've got to take a detour which is four by four only so I can only imagine how tough that's going to be anyway let's see how we get on I'll speak to you later thanks for watching bye